I'm going to start this video with two questions. One, have you made money in crypto or you have been losing money? Two, do you know how to start investing in crypto the right way to make money that could change your life? Give me your honest answers to these two questions. I believe the answer to your first question is yes, you have been losing money. And the second question, your answer is no, you don't know how to invest in crypto the right way. If I got your answers correctly, then this video is a solution for you. Now, let's make a deal. If at the end of this video, you are like, Uchi, thank you so much for this video, then do four things for me. One, leave a comment. Two, like this video. Three, share this video with your family and friends. And four, subscribe to this channel. Do we have a deal? If yes, let's get started. Before you start investing in crypto, you need to be aware of four things. One, crypto seasons and circle. Two, investment motive. Three, how do you divide your portfolio? And four, where do you carry out your investment? Let's start with the first one, which is crypto seasons. Since the launch of Bitcoin in 2009, a four-year circle has been noticed and other cryptos like ETH, ADA, XRP, BNB and the entire crypto market has followed this four-year circle. This four-year circle correlates with the Bitcoin halving. So what is Bitcoin halving? Bitcoin halving is the day when the number of Bitcoins, Bitcoin miners earn every 10 minutes is reduced by half. This happens every four years. Now, let me explain more. These miners are responsible for processing Bitcoin transactions and they are rewarded every 10 minutes for doing so. Miners used to earn 50 BTC. Then, after the first Bitcoin halving, it was reduced to 25 BTC, then 12.5 BTC and currently 6.25 BTC. The next one will happen in March 2024. Historically, Bitcoin attains a new all-time highs some months after each Bitcoin halving. Look at this chart. This was when the first Bitcoin halving happened and see how Bitcoin moved to a new all-time high. Look at the second to the third one. You will notice that Bitcoin moved to new all-time highs each time it happened. Now, the best time to start investing in the crypto market is when the market has crashed completely and during the accumulation phase. But the problem is a lot of people do it the opposite. They start investing when the bull market has already started. Now, they are left at the mercy of taking profit very early before another bear market starts. But you know what? They end up not taking profit and at the end of the day, they lose all their money. Do you understand this? One thing you need to note is 99% of the coins follow Bitcoin. So you need to work with that when investing in crypto. Let's look at the number two, which is what is your investment motive? Before you start investing in crypto, you need to ask yourself what your investment motive is. Are you investing to one, preserve the value of your wealth and maybe grow it little by little or two, to double, triple, 10x or even 100x your investment in a few years. Now, after getting the answers to your questions, you need to understand that the more you want to multiply your investment, the riskier it becomes and more likely you lose your money. And that is when you don't understand what you're doing very well. Let's say your motive is to preserve the value of your wealth. It means you're coming from a background of the awareness that the dollar lose 2 to 2.5% of its value per year due to inflation. So if you have $100 today, you know that the following year, your $100 is now worth $98 in terms of its purchasing power. The Naira is even worse because in the last 12 months, it has lost over 50% of its value. To preserve the value of your wealth, you don't buy dollar and put it in a dollar account where you earn about 0.2%. Rather, you buy USDT or USDC, which is a stablecoin pegged to the price of the dollar and then save it in your end account where interest is between 6 to 15% yearly. You can do this on Bybit and other platforms. Let me give you an example. Let's say inflation is 2% for the dollars and USDT APY on Bybit is about 15% and you bought about $100 and invested it in Bybit N. Now, at the end of the year, your 100 USDT in savings will become $115. Adjusting that by inflation, your $100 is now worth $112.7. You have not only preserved the value of your money, but you have grown it. Another investment motive could be, you don't just want to preserve your money, but you want to grow it tremendously. 
If you look at the price appreciation of Bitcoin from the halving date to its all-time high in its circle, you will see that Bitcoin increased by 92x in the first halving, that is about 9,200%. Now the second halving, it increased by 28x and the third halving, it increased by 11x. Bitcoin did this but other coins did even much better. A lot of them did over 1000x. The skill you require here is to know which coin to buy other than Bitcoin so you don't buy a coin that instead of going up, the coin only goes down and never comes up. The third thing you need to be aware of before investing your money is how do you divide your portfolio? During the last bull season, everyone was a good trader and investor because every coin you buy shoots up in price. But here is what happened. 1. A group of people made money and retained the money after the bull market ended. 2. The second group made money and lost most of the money before the bull market ended. And the third group was those that lost all their money, they never took profit at all. All this happens when you don't know how to properly manage your portfolio. Your investment plan determines if you allocate some of your money to Bitcoin, Ethereum and other big caps like BNB and others. Or you only invest your money in a coin with medium and small market caps. Now to the final part of this video, where do you carry out your investment? There are basically two categories of places. First, centralized exchanges and secondly, decentralized exchanges. For centralized exchanges, you can use platforms like Bybit, Binance, KuCoin and many more. I have all my links in the description, so make sure to use my link to sign up. And specifically for those that signs up using Bybit and do their KYC and finally um, deposit some money in their Bybit account, they are going to receive some reward from using my link to sign up. So make sure to use my link to sign up. For the centralized platform, you need a wallet like Metamax and Trust Wallet. With this, you can interact with platforms like Uniswap, PancakeSwap, Aave, Compound and many more. So guys, here is the final catch for you. If you want to learn how to do all of these things, we have designed a platform known as Afibi. I have my link in the description. Simply visit afibi.com and register. Once you go there, you're going to learn all of these things for almost free. Um, guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, um, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to use the link in the description to sign up. That's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.